Okay, so hi everybody. So I recently went to Sephora, Ulta, and MAC to pick up a few things that I've been wanting for a while. So I am going to start out with Sephora because that is the place that I bought the most stuff. So now I'm like pretty much almost at a Vibe member, but I got, you know, some points buying this stuff. And this is over a course of a few trips. So I will start off with the things that I bought uh, yesterday. And those are the our two Makeup Forever um, products. I heard that Makeup Forever makes the best foundation and the best eyeshadows. I love most eyeshadows that I have, but I really, really wanted to find a good foundation that doesn't dry me out and really gives me like a flawless finish. I wore it all day today and honestly, I really, really love it. Um, it really doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. So I got the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation in N110. I tried it out last night. It did dry me out a little bit, but that's probably because I was wearing makeup before that and I probably don't need, like, since this is heavy coverage because it's buildable, like, I don't, like, shouldn't put it over makeup that I already wore. I mean, I took it off and then I tried this out, but it dried me out a little bit because I was already wearing makeup. When I was wearing this all day today, it did not dry me out, and I really, really like it. So, this is, it comes with a pump, and this is what the color looks like. So, I got that. So, I'm really happy with this. And then I got another um, eyeshadow palette from Makeup Forever, um, because I honestly really love the neutral colors that I got recently. So, I got the Trio palette that looks like this. Honestly, you save so much money buying the trio, you basically get one shadow for free. And honestly, I would choose these over MAC shadows any day because, again, they're so much bigger. And MAC shadows are $16 a piece. You get these for about $10 more, and you get so much product for 40 bucks. So you're kind of, like, saving more money if you buy these instead instead of buying three MAC shadows. They're, like, $45. Um, so I got these three colors. I got the colors M636, I526, and S642. I kept the boxes just to make sure the colors were right. So I got this, like, uh, light ivory color, like, kind of, like, for the brow bone. So that's what it looks like. And then I got this, like, more matte, uh, light brown color, like, kind of for the crease. Really, really pretty. And then I got this really matte chocolate brown color kind of for the one third corner so I really liked the neutral tones and I'm like I'm not really going to wear the colorful ones I just really want some really good neutral ones so these are the ones that I got honestly I'm not going to buy any more after this because I have enough neutral colors now so that's what I got from Makeup Forever I really love them so they're awesome then um, this is my first first hourglass product I'm kind of retarded, and I didn't know that Hourglass was actually its own separate line. I actually thought that it was actually part of um, another <laughs> line. I thought it was just that, I just thought that, that was what the highlighter was called for the line. I actually thought it was part of Marc Jacobs or some crap. Um, but it's actually its own line, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I finally got one of the Hourglass highlighters in the color Luminous Light. And... I just put this on my face and I've never seen my skin look so glowy before and I just put on a little bit and I was watching Makeup by Tiffany yesterday and she was right about this. You only really need a little bit of it and it gives such a glow like I've never seen my skin look this pretty. So the color looks like that. I got like the tan tannish color and well actually it's kind of like my color like the fair color. And look at that. Like, look. <laughs> so gorgeous. So I got this, and I am super happy I got this. I love it. Honestly, I really have everything I need right now. I don't think I'm really going to buy anything else except for the ColourPop palette. I wanted it, but, I mean, the Sugar Pop palette from Too Faced. So, yeah. Freaking love this. Then, I also bought... Bart. I also bought my first NARS product. I've never bought anything from NARS before because, yes, they are expensive. But I decided to invest in one of the lipsticks, just one, because I just wanted to find a creamy, pinky nude. So that's the one I got. And I got the color Brigitte. And I did want Raquel, but I thought Raquel was a little bit too brown for me. 
so I got this color and this is freaking gorgeous like look at the packaging it's just like a really awesome square like so cool and every girl at Sephora like raves about these and when I was asking girls at Sephora they're like yeah you know what you're talking about and they're beautiful so um I'm gonna swatch it look at that color so pretty so I'm very excited to use this I'm definitely gonna try it out Ooh. And it's like kind of magnetic. It's cool. I like that packaging. And then I also got, I actually was eyeing these yesterday at the register. And I decided to buy them. Um, Bite Beauty are freaking $24 a piece. I would buy NARS over that any day because I'm investing in something that is really awesome quality. Because they say that these are incredibly long lasting and they don't dry you out at all because of the formula. So I'm very excited to use that. So I got this Dual Ended Bite Beauty Lipstick Duo instead of buying both like both of these colors full size. This is so much easier to try out the actual products. So I got the colors Date and Fig. And Date is a new color and Fig is the pinkish color, excuse me. Um, so this one is Fig. I'm going to swatch it next to the NARS one. This one's a lot more pink. This is the Bite Beauty one, and this one is the NARS one. They do look the same on camera, but when I look at them in person, the NARS, the uh, Bite Beauty one is a lot more pink. And then, actually, the, the NARS one is very brown. They have a lot of brown undertones in theirs. And then this is the Date. They have a very creamy uh, quality to them, too, kind of like NARS, honestly. They kind of have, like, that creamy finish. I really like creamy lipsticks. I'm a sucker for those. So this is the date. So that's Brigitte's from NARS. This is uh, Fig from Bite Beauty. And this is the date from Bite Beauty. So they're all really, really, really pretty colors. So that's what I got from Sephora. And then I went to MAC. And I heard that the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is the best concealer out there. Um, and so that's all I bought from MAC. That's all I was going to buy from there. Um, so it looks like this, and I got the color NW15, and the color looks like that. It really matches my foundation so well. Like, I bought the Tarte Maracuja, um, concealer, and honestly, I really don't like it. I like that, it's cool that this has a pump, but honestly, I wish it had, like, an applicator, like a doe foot applicator. I heard that the Naked one from Urban Decay is really good too, but this, this completely cancels out what's under my eyes. Like, look at that. Look at it. <laughs> um, I literally just put it on my eye, under my eyes, because she put it on me in the store, but I wanted to clean up my under eye makeup a little bit because it got a little bit smudged, and that probably happened when she put on the concealer for me, and she... It completely canceled out the colors in my inner corners, like, because I didn't mean to put it on like that. I just wanted to cancel out this right here. But just, like, a tiny bit of product covered so much under my eye and completely canceled out the color of my eyeliner here. It literally looks like I'm not wearing any eyeliner there. It was freaking crazy to me, like, honestly. I don't know what this is. Whatever. Um, so yeah, this is... Honestly, I think this is going to be amazing because I've seen every YouTuber say it's the best concealer out there. So, honestly, we'll not buy a Tarte one again. It has way too much yellow in it. Um, from what I've seen on YouTube, they say that Tarte um, foundations or concealers have really big yellow undertones. So, I will not purchase uh, Tarte ones anymore because I don't need that yellow undertone. I need something that's just really, really close to my skin tone. So honestly, I might try and return it. And then I also went to Ulta, and I just picked up a couple of things. They honestly didn't really have half the things that I wanted, and I wanted a lot of things from Too Faced. But they did have one of the palettes that I wanted, and I've been actually eyeing this for a little while because I wasn't going to get it because I'm like, you know, I have the semi-sweet palettes. I love those a lot. But I was like, okay, this actually really is pretty. So I decided to pick up the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I know I'm very late to this train, but it's so pretty. Um, I wanted the sh uh, Sugar Pop one too, but they don't have it yet. And I wanted the Too Faced Metal Lipsticks because I just saw those come out on TooFaced.com. And they have them on Ulta.com 
and Sephora.com, but they don't have them in the store yet, so I'm really hoping they get them in the store. So I got the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette, and this was actually the last one that they had in the store, and I was like, okay, it's kind of calling to me. So I bought the palette. Such a pretty packaging. Oh my god. Like, so romantic looking. And these are the nine shades that come in here. So the colors are Heaven, Cashmere Bunny, Sexpresso, Silk Teddy, Push Up, Erotica, Nudie, Honey Pot, and Chocolate Martini. Too Faced has some scandalous freaking names. Like, I gotta say, they're a little bit, like, sexual. Um, but super pretty. Honestly, I should try probably try and swatch these a little bit. So, I'm gonna do, like, those metallic shades. Ooh, those are so pretty. This one is Silk Teddy, and this one is Push Up. Those are gorgeous. And I like that it comes with three matte shades as well. I'm definitely gonna use these a lot. So, I got that. I'm just going to put this over here and throw it in the box later. Then I picked up one more Benefit box blush. Oh my god, it's set, I said it right this time. This is actually the second time I'm recording this. And I kept on stumbling on my words in the last one. So I'm like, I'm going to make a new one. So I got the uh, Rockateur Benefit box blush. I, keep, I kept on eyeing this and I was like, I don't know if I really want it because it has so much sparkle in it. And oh my god, there's little studs on here too. I did not even see that. That's so freaking adorable. Um, but it comes with a little brush and a little mirror or whatever. Um, but I kept on eyeing it and I'm like, this is really pretty. I kind of really want it. And they said it kind of adds like a, um, like highlight and blush effect to your cheeks. So this is what the color looks like. I hope that it's not too much highlight when I actually wear the, um, hourglass highlighter with it, but honestly the hourglass highlight is so subtle that I don't think it's going to be overwhelming. So this is what the color looks like, and this is how it looks on my finger. It just looks really shiny. It honestly, I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but, <coughs> excuse me, every time I see it on YouTube, I think it just looks so pretty. So I got that. Then I also, the last two things I got were just brushes because I needed these two brushes. So I could not find a highlighter brush anywhere. For some reason, um, not many uh, places sell a cheap highlighting brush. I mean, I think Ulta did have them, but I don't know. They just don't have them right now. Um, the only one that they sell is like in a compact, in like a set with... Um, Oh my god, I'm getting so distracted by how this feels. Um, but they only have it like in a trio uh, thing with the Real Techniques brushes. And I just needed like an individual one. So I ended up spending a little bit more money. This was like $17 or $14. I think it was like $14. Um, but I was like, that's fine. You know, it's $10 more, dollars, whatever. And I got the It Cosmetics highlighting brush. I have the foundation brush, and but that was a little bit more worth it because it's a foundation brush. <laughs> but these brushes are so soft and so, oh my god, like, they're so good. It Cosmetics has amazing brushes. So I got that as a highlighting brush. And then the last product is just another Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. I need something for my crease. And like I said, one of the other, ooh, kind of like pulling the hairs a little bit there. That's not good. Um... One of the ladies at Ulta said I could literally use a concealer brush for the crease, but I was like, you know, I kind of want to use the concealer brush now for my concealer because I'm going to need it because they say you should use a concealer brush, not a uh, sponge to apply it because it is heavy coverage. So um, I decided to, she said I could literally use this in my crease too, and she said just use a, another one in the crease so obviously you're not mixing the colors too much because honestly I use this brush for my lid for my outer corner and for my brow bone and she said this is literally like the best brush you could use so I just ended up picking up this one because honestly these brushes are freaking awesome um because I have the bronzer brush from Real Techniques as well and I love it too but yeah that's it so please like and subscribe follow me on Instagram at CW819 and my Twitter is PokerFace819 and thanks guys have a great night bye